We are getting answers for you this morning about why COVID-19 cases are on the rise yet again. We spoke with an expert about the increase and how the Omicron subvariant is mutating. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott is live from Tampa with how this spike could be different from others we've seen before. Good morning, Larissa. Hey, good morning, Sarah. Researchers say they're watching the spike in cases closely right now, and they tell us this is likely just the beginning of what our future of living with COVID-19 will look like. The cases are actually increasing both in Florida and across the United States right now. Health officials say it's because of the BA2 Omicron subvariant and its mutations that are going around. This thing is now really vying with measles for the most infectious respiratory envir uh, virus known to man. The original Omicron variant caused a record number of COVID-19 cases in the beginning of the year. Researchers say BA2 is not likely to make that big of an impact. Case numbers are going up a little bit with a doubling time now of about once every two weeks. We're seeing a doubling in case numbers. Um, but that's a lot slower than what we saw with the Omicron variant. Researchers say the BA2 subvariant has mutated a few times, increasing its infectiousness even more. The CDC estimates BA2 and its mutation have accounted for about 93% of new COVID-19 cases in the U.S. just last week. I'm thinking that we're probably going to be reaching a peak of um, cases averaging about maybe 3,000 3, or 4,000 a day, maybe in the next 10 days or so, and then we're going to start to see a decline. Health officials say the most important thing we need to pay attention to right now is hospitalizations and deaths. They're predicting this surge won't cause nearly as much severe disease as all the others before it. Which indicates, I think, that there's enough immunity out there right now that people are getting pretty well protected against severe disease. But the one thing experts say that could increase this peak is more people not wearing masks in crowded spaces. I think uh, with the you know, anytime we've seen before, we've seen a loosening of uh, any of the um, public health measures. We've seen a, a little bump up in the total case numbers. And we will, of course, continue to keep you updated on the Omicron subvariant and its mutations on ABCActionNews.com. I'm live in Tampa this morning. Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.